Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm doing roast beef with crusty potatoes in a Copper Chef XL. Alright guys, I'm starting out here with a three pound bottom round roast and I have my Copper Chef XL preheating. Now in this little bowl, I have about four tablespoons of olive oil, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of fresh chopped rosemary. I'm going to go ahead and spread this all over my roast. You just want to rub it down in there. You want to hit all of your sides. I'm just going to go ahead and in with my hand here. It's a bit a easier. Go ahead and get the back side. And I'm going to leave that fat cap on here, guys. I'm not going to trim that off because we're going to cook that fat cap side up or bake it because uh, that's going to melt down and add moisture and flavor to our roast. Okay, now I'm going to get this into my Copper Chef and get it browned up. And if you do this in like a traditional frying pan, you want to put a little oil or something in there, but with the Copper Chef there's no need. So I'm going to do the fat cap side first, and we're going to brown all the sides on this. All right, now that my beef roast is all nice and brown and delicious looking, I'm going to pull that out just for now. It's a big boy, guys. Okay, now I have my heat off. We're done with this searing process. I'm going to dump in some water. First, I'm going to put in my trivet that came with the Copper Chef. Just going to keep it up at the bottom of the Copper Chef. I don't want so much water that comes up to the bottom of the trivet. I just want a little bit in the bottom. This will help keep the, the roast nice and moist as it cooks. So I'm going to go for a cup of water. Okay, now I'm going to put a shot of red wine in there. And this is optional, guys. If I don't dump it all over the stove. I put about a quarter of a cup in. Now I'm going to return my roast back into the Copper Chef. Like I said, we're doing it fat cap side up. I'm going to put my lid on here. And I'm going to cook this slow in a 350 degree oven covered for three hours. But about two hours into the cooking process, we'll put the potatoes in. Guys, real quick, I wanted to mention my friends Bob and Sue over Lucky Dog Productions tomorrow night. Every Monday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, they have their coffee chats. It's a lot of fun. It's a live chat. I'll be there. How about stopping by and paying them a visit? It's their Christmas Eve one. It's an hour long, but you don't have to stay an hour. It's good, clean, fun, and uh, I really enjoy it. I'll put a link to their channel down in the description bar, and I'd be happy if you'd stop by. All right, guys, now we're going to make our crusty potatoes. I have roughly two and a half pounds of uh, medley potatoes here, yellow, purple, and red. I cut in half the little ones and the bigger ones I cut into quarters. Now I have here eight spring onions I cut into halves and then quarters make about the same size and two cloves of garlic I did a rough chop, chop on. That's going on the bag of potatoes. And I have the juice of one lemon here I juiced. That's roughly probably about three or four tablespoons of lemon juice. And I'm going to put in two teaspoons of Dijon mustard and I'm just eyeballing this guys. I'm going to dump this in over the potatoes and onions. And I'm just going to mix this up really well. I just want to give it a good shake, get it nice and blended, get all the flavors mixed through the potatoes and onions and garlic. And my bag isn't closed, so I'll just hold it closed. Okay, guys, this went for about three and a half hours. I know I said I was going to put potatoes in at the last hour. Or it went for two and a half hours, excuse me. But... These potatoes are kind of small. I don't want them to turn into mush. So we're going to cook for the last half hour. I'm going to get them down in here around the roast. And most of my liquid in the bottom is cooked out. So if some potatoes go down under there, that's no big deal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cook uncovered for that last half hour. So I'm going to get that back in the oven. Okay, guys, my three hours are up. My potatoes aren't quite done yet. So I put them back in the oven. I'm going to temp my roast with foil and let it rest for about 10 minutes while those potatoes finish up. All right, guys, my potatoes are done. It actually took about 45 minutes. And like I said, my roast was resting. Let's go ahead and cut into the roast and see how it looks. See, that's cooked through. Take a big cut down the middle and we'll cut from there. nice and tender. It wants to fall apart on me while I'm cutting it. Look how juicy that is guys. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. I also went ahead and made some pan seared butter and garlic 
green beans to go with it, so I put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. Let me get in here and taste this roast beef, guys. And it's looking good. Nice and tender, moist, well seasoned. Let me try a little bit of those potatoes. <clears throat> They're really good, they have a good flavor. You can taste that Dijon mustard, the lemon juice. I'll try one of my green beans. They're really good. You can taste the garlic and the butter coming through. All right, guys, there you have it. Roast beef or crusty potatoes in the Copper Chef XL. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you.